What's up guys, glad to have you here. Uh, today I want to talk about the difference between uh, you know, all the Amazon barcodes, all the barcodes in general, that way you know what's going on. I get to ask this question all the time, you know, what's the difference between a UPC, an ASIN, an FN SKU? No one seems to know, right? And so today I want to go ahead and deep dive into each one of these and let you know what you need, how to get it, uh, and everything you need to know, uh, you know, to list the product on Amazon and you know what to put on your product packaging. Uh, that way you guys are fully, uh, fully uh, up to code, up to standards on everything before you send your units into Amazon. Uh, so, you know, without further ado, let's just deep dive into this real quick. If we look at my screen here, guys, you can see this right here, right? Okay, so this is actually a UPC. So what a UPC is, is a universal product code. So every, every product in you know, the world is supposed to have one of these UPCs, okay? It's supposed to be the identifier uh, to the product. That way, you know, no matter where you go, uh, you, know, you know, what store you shop at, where the, you know, what mall you're at, uh, you know, what country you're in, they should be all the same. That way, you know, when they scan it, they know what product it is, they know who manufactured it, so that, you know, everybody can be held accountable, things like that. Uh, so this UPC is, you know, when you get into a store, when you get into, the, like, especially like Walmart or Target or, or any places like that, every product's going to have a UPC on it. This code uh, itself, this barcode, and that's how they can, you know, they keep track of inventory, they keep track of what the product is, they know what to charge for it, uh, things like that. So this UPC, think of it as the standard, the original barcode, uh, the, you know, the barcode that, you know, started barcodes, okay? Uh, so this is what, you know, this is, this is something that you need uh, on Amazon to list your product even, okay? Uh, so you need a UPC. Amazon's going to want a UPC, require a UPC uh, on your product. That way, you know, they know it's a real product before, you know, they, you know units get sent in. So we're going to need one of these UPCs uh, to get, uh, you know, your product up and running. And then after you, you get one of these UPCs, which I'll tell you about a little later in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it and you know, what kind of barcode you need because you need a specific one. That way Amazon doesn't you know, suspend you or anything like that. Uh, so after you get the UPC uh, and, you know, and the product gets listed, Amazon then will pop out uh, something called an FN SKU, okay? So an FN SKU, if we click this right here, and I'll zoom in a little bit right there. Uh, so this barcode is actually just for Amazon specifically. I can never say that word. Uh, and so this is what's gonna be on your product packaging, guys. If you're just sending in units into Amazon, this is what you guys need, okay? So let me let me go over that one more time. So you need a UPC, which is like the you know universal standard of barcodes, which I'll show you how to get a little later. Amazon, when we go into there, right, which I'll show you right now, when we add a product, okay, right here, add a product, Amazon's gonna want a product ID, okay? So, you know, GCID, don't worry about those guys, E-A-N, unless you know about those specifically and your product kind of fits in those categories, then kind of deep dive, in it, deep dive into it. Uh, just, you know, for, you know, 99% of the population, UPC is gonna be the easiest, the most standard, and the one you want, okay? Uh, so we click down here, we go to UPC. Once we have a UPC code, which will be uh, this guy right down here, uh, they'll also just list it out for you as well. You put this in here, you know, put your title in, brand name, manufacturer, you know, part number, right? And we save and finish, right? We, after we enter everything else in, okay? Once we do that, Amazon's gonna go ahead and create our, our listing for us, right? Our, our product. And so once we, we create this product, right guys, they're gonna spit out something called an FN SKU, okay? It's gonna be a, an identifier for our product attached to our seller account, okay? And so once you get this, right, it's as easy as going into your managed inventory, guys, going down and then clicking uh, the little edit button on the side there, the little scroll, and just printing item labels. And these will come up for you guys. It's, it's, it's super easy. Um, so this will come out, right guys? And this will be what you wanna give your manufacturers, right? Uh, all manufacturers who are used to you know, selling to Amazon sellers know what this is. They, they're gonna tell you about it. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna require it. But you know, just so you know, this you'll want either your manufacturer to to print stickers and put it on your, your box there, um, or you're going to want them to print it on the box, which is what I do. Okay, guys, you know, if I grab something here, I don't know 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and grabbed an Amazon product for you to show you, show you the FN SKU. If I zoom in here, hopefully that will, there we go. So if I zoom in here, guys, you can see the FN SKU here. This is printed uh, on the box and they put a sticker on it. You can either print this or put the sticker on, okay? So that's what you need on your product uh, exactly here. You can see if we go back to the screen here that each FN SKU is gonna have a barcode, right? Because Amazon's gonna wanna scan it when it comes into uh, the warehouse. That's kind of how they identify how many products you have and know where to put it, everything like that. And it has a number attached to it, uh, I guess number and lettering. And this is just another, it, pretty much this barcode uh, is this uh, numbering and lettering, uh, exactly the sequence here. And then uh, Amazon will do this um, based on your title, guys. So whatever your title is, it's gonna go ahead and spit this out, uh, the product description right here. Uh, this will also say new if it's uh, new. If you're selling like used things, then obviously it'll say used. But for 99% of people, it will be new right here. Also, guys, what I like to do right here uh, to add, which is super easy, if you just you know open up PDF, put made in China right here. Okay, uh, that way you know because every product requires this, so just put made in China there on the barcode. So they put stickers there or they print it. It's on your box. You know, um, obviously, if it's made in China, put made in China. If it's made in the USA, put made in the USA. You have to declare where your product's being manufactured. Uh, so, you know, put that in there, guys. Uh, just a little tidbit, a little extra there. So, okay, guys. So hopefully that makes sense, right? So we need a UPC uh, to add a product on Amazon's catalog. Those will go ahead and spit out the FN SKU, okay? Uh, just to go over something real quick here, guys. Uh, so a lot of people ask me, you know, okay, Cameron, I've heard about UPC, I've heard about FNSQ, and I've also heard about it in ASIN, okay? So what ASIN is, uh, is just, I'm not sure what it stands for exactly. Uh, Amazon something, something, something. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm gonna guess Amazon serial identifier number, uh, something in that case. But ASIN is just another number they use to assign your product, okay? So they can kind of sort through it, uh, you know, uh, in the product catalog, everything like that. So if we look at the Baby Yoda, a listing here, right? So if we go down, once you make a, a product listing, they're gonna go ahead and spit out an ASIN for you as, as well with the FN SKU. You don't have to worry about this ASIN, guys. It's just something to identify your product listing, something to use. You'll probably use this, you know, if you use software or anything like that to kind of identify your product. Uh, moving forward, just know this is where you find it right here in the product information. Uh, you can also find it right up here um, in the URL. Uh, so. That is the ASIN. Don't worry about that, guys, for your product packaging. Just know that's something that Amazon uses to identify your product, right? Now you know what ASIN is, okay? So now I've told you what all three of these are, right? These things you need to know. Let's, let's show you the best way to get a UPC, okay? Uh, there's been a lot of talk about UPCs, about Amazon only wanting uh, GS1, which is like the standard of, of the world and, and UPC barcodes. They, they use that kind of database, the GS1 database to to make sure UPCs are valid and they're good. So there's you know, been talk that they only take GS1 barcodes from gs1.org, uh, okay? So we're on that website right now, guys, and we can see that the pricing of this is $250 for initial fee for one to 10, and then $50 every year just to renew uh, your licensing. Okay, so if, you know, if you've ever you know, looked around for UPCs, you know this, this is expensive. This is very expensive, okay? Uh, so, Amazon will go ahead and tell you that they want barcodes from GS1, but as long as they're in the GS1 database, okay, they're gonna be legit uh, UPCs that Amazon's gonna allow, okay? So if we, you know, if you wanna do things officially, do it the right way, you know, cross all your T's, dot all your I's, you know, play it safe, especially you guys going retail too, if you guys wanna go retail, GS1 is probably the best option for you. Pay the little extra, um, that way you guys are, you know, ready to go for any scenario. But, you know, Amazon's been saying they only take GS1, you know, .org uh, UPCs for the last two years now or something like that. This is not the case. Okay, so I've used GS1, which works just fine, right? But I've also used Nationwide Barcode, guys. And, and the cool thing here is they're so much cheaper, okay? So, you know, see, they say right here, GS1 originated UPCs, okay? And you know, I wouldn't show you something, guys, I haven't used in the past. Obviously, there's gonna be you know, Amazon, if I go back here, you know, the product ID is checked against the GS1, uh, you know, GPIR, ISBN databases, okay? So if it's not registered with GS1, then the linked ASIN will be suppressed and may result in removal of the product creation privileges, okay? So this is kind of their warning saying, 
use GS1, okay? And so Nationwide Barcode is saying, okay, these are GS1 originated UPCs uh, and they're a lot cheaper, right? And so I've used both, guys. I've used Nationwide Barcodes the last two years. I've used GS1 uh, for more official brands that you know I want to take care of and, and, and kind of brand down the line. Uh, so if you're just starting, you want the cheaper option, use Nationwide Barcodes. Okay, guys, I, I know it's not the official website, uh, you know, there's there's a couple other websites out here like this, but this is one I've used. You can see one UPC twelve dollars instead of uh, two fifty with the fifty dollar annual fee. Uh, you know, five. You know, the more you buy, uh, the more they'll give you a discount here. Five for seven fifty a pop. Ten for four twenty five. That's usually how I do it. I'll, just, I'll go ahead and buy ten of them real quick. Uh, you know, I I usually don't add more than you know ten products a year. You know, if you need twenty five, you think you're going to go that route. You got a lot of variations, right? Because each product a variation. Say you have a blue. Uh, baby Yoda uh, and a green Baby Yoda, you'll need separate UPCs, guys. So if you have multiple variations, you're going to get more than one UPC, okay? So keep that in mind. But uh, I hope this makes sense, guys. Uh, so let's just run over it real quick again. You're going to need a UPC, which is a universal product code, which we can get on GS1, which is more official. But these are also GS1 original UPCs that I've used, and they've worked, and they're one-tenth the price uh, on nationwide barcodes, okay? You're going to use this UPC, and you're gonna enter it here once you have that. And this is gonna allow you to list your product on Amazon, okay? Once that's done, Amazon's gonna go ahead and spit you out an ASIN that you don't have to worry about. It's gonna be on your listing. And then uh, it's also gonna let you print labels, which is as simple uh, as going to manage inventory, clicking the little up and down scroll next to your item in manage inventory and then clicking print item labels, okay? As simple as that. They're gonna pop out the FN SKU, and then uh, it's gonna say, you know, your, your product right here, your title, new, um, and this is what you're gonna give to your manufacturers, guys. Okay, this FN SKU right here on the screen. And so, knowing that, you can have your manufacturer print them and sticker them, which they usually do for free. They, they understand this. They, they know how Amazon works, or you can have them, uh, you know, instead of sticker, you can have them printed on the box, you know, you know ink or laser print or whatever your packaging needs, right? A uh, uh, little tidbit, again, uh, just to remind you guys, put made in China in there or whatever your ma you know, made in country is because uh, customs does require that on any products uh, getting uh, sent into the USA. Uh, so that is it, guys. That's the difference between all the Amazon barcodes and the you know, barcodes in general. I hope that is helpful. If you do like this, uh, go ahead and like this video for me. Uh, you know, subscribe down there. I'll, I'll keep putting more videos out like this. You know, it also helps the uh, YouTube algorithm help push me uh, to uh, other viewers to help them out, which is, you know, my main goal here. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you get it, just let me know you guys get it, right? Because it tells me I'm doing a good job explaining these things. So uh, I love it if you guys comment down below. Uh, it makes sense. I got it. Uh, Cameron, you're cool. Or Cameron, your hair sucks. Whatever you guys want to say, just say hello down below in the comments. Okay, guys, uh, that is it. And we'll see you on the next one.